How's it going, survivors? I am Lieutenant Grimm, and welcome back to Jurassic Park the Game. We're in episode 3, The Depths. And so far, this game is awesome. I'm really loving it. So, without further ado, let's get immersed. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, let's see how this goes. Jurassic Park the Game. Episode 3, The Depths. Is this episode starting off in the sky? Like episode 2 did? Bad crash. Lucky that chopper didn't kill us all. <laughs> I don't feel so lucky. Killed by a chopper or eaten by rabbits. God, trying to bring the tower down. It'll hold. It's got to. Yeah, well, I don't want to take any chances. Uh how do we get down? We need to get off the tower before the raptors bring it down. The emergency ladder's right there. The way the tower is tilting, it will put us down outside the paddock. Well, it's a start, but the fence isn't much of an obstacle for the raptors. Where do we go once we're out? I think we can make it to the utility tunnels right over there. We can lock the raptors out if we can beat them inside. Yeah. I hope you're right. Let's get that ladder lowered. Well, we're gonna have to. There's no other way. Oh Bunch. shit, there's a lock. Did you try the latch? The latch, right, of course. There's a lock on it. Of course there is. That should free it up. <laughs> it still won't move. It's brand new, so it might still be a little stiff. Maybe if you put more weight on it? What, you mean stand on it? Yes, ride it down. Okay, but we should probably be ready to move as soon as it comes down so we can stick together. Oh, shit. Let's do this Sweetheart, thing. listen. I want you to be ready to climb down the ladder as soon as it's extended. Okay, Dad. Let's do this, puppy. Dr. Sorkin. I'll be right down. It's really stuck. Oh, no, I see the problem. The whole ladder is just slightly bent. It can't slide freely. We might be able to force it. it. Must have been the crash. Looks that way. I think we're gonna need a crowbar or something to get it open. Oh, well, then we're gonna have to get creative oh, because great. there are no tools up here. Of course. There's always an obstacle. Um, we'll be okay. How you holding up, honey? I want to go home. I know, sweetheart. Me too. We'll be fine. I promise. Is there anything on top of the tower? Ooh, that looks dandy. This antenna could be just the thing we need to pry the ladder open. But if I try to grab it now, I could get electrocuted. Oh, great. There has to be electricity on top of the water tower. Get down from here! Um, uh, turn off the power, Sorkin. Crap. I keep forgetting to press Dr. A. Sorkin, that antenna is the only thing up here I've seen that we can use to pry the ladder open. Is there any way to turn the power of those lights off so I can grab it? Not from up here. The aircraft alert beacons aren't ever supposed to be disabled. The best I can do is make them flash on and off. How? I can switch them from nighttime to daytime operation. 
They shine continuously at night, but during the day they flash to provide more contrast. Whoa. Damn. Oh, I have to do it. Okay, I've switched the beacon lights to daytime mode. Hopefully that wire won't be live while the lights flash off. Shit. Damn! Jump the gun a little. Yeah, I see. Yes. Got it. Come on, let's get this thing open and get if I down there. By jumping on it, I'm never gonna be able to pry it by myself. Dr. Sorkin? Yes? Can you give me a hand with this? You pry while I put my weight on the ladder. Certainly. Uh, this spills out a bad idea. Okay, Dr. Sorkin, I'm ready. Jess, honey, you get ready to move as soon as the ladder goes down. I'm ready, Dad. Just hurry. Okay, Dr. Sorkin, on three. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Fuck. Damn it. That was my fault. I didn't time it. Again. On three. Come on. Ready? One, two, two three. No, just yes. wait. Go. What the Bye, hell, Dad. Jess? Your turn, Dr. Sorkin. Right. I'm coming down. Jumped the gun a little bit on that one. Uh, she is. She was scared stiff. Come on, they're right behind you! Dr. Harding, the door! Too late, run! Shit! Shit, shit, shit. Oh, fuck. Come on! What the hell? I'm holding them. I didn't let go, and instead I did. I'm gonna edit this out. Dr. Harding, the door! There we go. I'm just gonna edit out the part where I fucked up like twice. I had LBs, yeah, down and so I didn't. Jump, Billy! Next time I get a headache like this, there better be tequila involved. Yeah, no, right? No way, amigo. This turned or out maybe better Jack than the Daniels. Last time you drank tequila. Yeah, you might be right. The girl I woke up next to is prettier, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, about the girl. How'd she make it out? But first, I gave her a push. I'm surprised you'd take the time to rescue her, what with how nice she was to you and all. Who says it was a rescue? Yeah, <laughs> you tried to kill her. So what's the plan? So, we lost our ride, and the only person we managed to rescue so far doesn't even work for InGen. Now what? See if you can find anything useful in the wreck. And make sure the girl's okay while I scout the perimeter. Ah, damn it. I left my AK inside the chopper. It's probably toast. Glad I didn't leave a round chambered. Could have killed someone. That makes two of us, amigo. Still, the cook-off was a hell of a show. <laughs> a hell of an unnecessary show. All right. Gonna take more than an auxiliary power unit to fix her this time. I just want to see if there's anything. Better keep in checking it. her out. If she's gonna blow, we don't want to be anywhere nearby. 
I want to see if there's anything inside, so. Damn it. All our weapons were in there. I was I just got... getting used to that AK, too. Yeah, no, right. Looking pretty safe. One more look, just to be sure. I hate losing a gun. I don't know what I would do if I lost any of my guns. I would go nuts. And I'm still getting used to Xbox. I'm playing on a play PlayStation primarily, PlayStation 4. And the controls are different. I'm just getting used to it. And it doesn't help that I'm using a PlayStation controller to play this game. <laughs> no fuel left. Must have been a hell of a blast. I know, and you slept through that it. Chopper's done all the exploding she's ever gonna do. Should be safe to make camp here. All right, let's go over to Oscar. Oh. I should see if the girl's okay. You're going to go over here. Yes, let's see if the girl's okay. Wink, wink. Oscar might want to talk to her when she wakes up. Let's postpone that little reunion. Uh, what do you have in mind? Oh, I see. Take it. Take the shaving cream. Take the embryos, man. Come on. Wow, well, Barbasol. I have a can just like this back in San Jose. Oh, man. I hope it's not for her face. Heavier than I remember. Could just be full, I guess. <laughs> he doesn't know. It's only sloshing at the top. Sounds half empty, feels full. Why is that? My stepbrother used to store his second set of keys in a fake pop can. I wonder. <laughs> a lady has a secret stash. But what the hell is it? An embryo of whatever the hell that is. Of what that is. So get the fuck out of there, dude. <laughs> Damn it, Oscar. I only have one pair of pants. The chopper's not gonna blow, but just about everything in it, including our weapons, is flame broiled. No game trails, no nests. This is base camp for now. Hey, get this. I found this can of shaving cream in her pack. Didn't think you needed any. Yeah, whatever you say, fuzzy. Except it's not really shaving cream. Look. Hmm. So, now what's the plan? You gonna try to salvage this gig? The plan yeah. has changed. I'm gonna go look for our friends. Uh, shouldn't I come with? We lost the guns. Means I gotta be in stealth mode. <laughs> you saying I can't sneak? I'm saying neither one of us can sneak and watch her at the same time. Besides, she won't talk with me around. But maybe pretty boy Billy can get her to open up. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough job. <laughs> it's a curse and a burden. I feel you, man. Ah, oh, we were... The Hardings were just there. He knows. Dios mío, they open doors. Hardings are in trouble and Sorkin. Should have stayed in bed. But hey, man. You get to see real live dinosaurs. Shit. Just do. Uh, that's not the thing to do. 
Yeah, I'm still surprised how one Raptor took down one Paris Raw office. And it was the Lookout's Raw office also. Say damn it. Oh, I am a master at sneaking. Damn it! Damn it! When I miss those, it makes louder footsteps. Dad, are we going to stand here all day? You're right, huh? We should get moving. Oh, okay. So the door and where the Hardings and Sorkin are are separate. That's what, that makes more sense. Locked. Smart. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to have to go in. More sense they're separate. Ah, there's a comfy right there. As soon as she wakes up, he gets Ay, scared. Dios mio. How am I that bad? Got people watching your back, even though you tried to kill them. They left me alone. Idiotas. At least one of them pulled me out of there. Not sure I'd do the same. Yeah, on the account that you tried to kill them. You're a crazy bitch. Uh, what do I do now? Let's look at the pack. I'm just gonna discover the uh, can is gone. Where's the can? Yeta! No, no, no! You looking for this? That's mine! You know, this takes me back. I learned to shave with this stuff. Give it back! Now! I'm all out of shaving cream myself. You mind if I borrow some? Stop shaking it! But you're supposed to shake it before you use it. Says so right on the can. You want to tell me what's so important about shaving cream? Or do I ask Injun? But I'm just gonna tell them straight out, it's embryos. Embryos! Dinosaur embryos. If you drop them, they'll be destroyed. Embryos, huh? Wow. I knew you were up to something, but this, this, is pretty clever, I gotta admit. InGen's gonna love me for bringing this back. Talk about a bonus. Look, Yoder. Billy, right? Maybe we can make a deal. This ought to be good. Shoot. Um, chivalry Please. Dead? I don't expect you to trust me, but the right thing to do is to give it back to me and let me go. Um, I, I don't know what to do. There's so many good choices. That was. The daughter. I have a daughter. I need the money to get her out of the ghetto. You know what happens to girls there. She doesn't deserve that life. Are you for real? Okay. Keep talking. There's a lot of money in it for you if I get those embryos to my contact before they go bad. Um... They're, they're valuable. Maybe he's underpaid. How much does Injun pay you to risk your life? How long before they replace you after you lose a leg or break your back and can no longer jump out of helicopters for them? Don't you worry about it. I get paid plenty to do what I do. They're valuable. Those embryos are worth over a million. That's US dollars. I have a buyer. 
I just need you to take us there, and we'll both be rich. Oh, yeah, right. Like, InGen isn't gonna shine a light on an independent contractor like me when they figure out the crown jewels are missing. <laughs> no sale. Oh, tell my story. Sell it. You turn that over to InGen. You get a pat on the back. Maybe a little Christmas bonus. You leave it to me, you become a rich man. Pay off your debts. Quit your job. No more guys in suits telling you what to do. Just think about it. Come on, Billy. The money's good. And you'll be helping me save my daughter. Everybody gets a little ah. something. Okay, here's the deal. One, I'm in charge. I keep the embryos. And as soon as it's safe to break away, we'll deliver them to your contact. Awesome. I don't know if the embryos will last in there much longer. That's a risk we're gonna take. Two, we're cutting Oscar in. Why? Because he's my partner, that's why. Exactly. It'll be fine. Trust me. Now sit tight and lighten up. Not Kimmel every Locks. woman gets Hatching to enjoy the plan. sunset on a tropical island with Billy Yoder. I know, right? I'm quite jealous. I want to be on a tropical island with Billy Yoder. So, any idea where we are in relation no. to the rest of the park? Here we are. We're not far from the marine exhibit. I know for a fact that the phone there is in working order, or at least it was this morning. Did we get there from the tunnels? I believe so. All right then, lead the way. I want to get us out of here as soon as possible. No more science projects, okay? I understand. The marine exhibit. Uh... Don't worry, Jess. We should be safe in here. Where do all these doors lead? The maintenance corridors. The park's essential systems are in there. Uh, electrical, water, air conditioning, you know, that sort of thing. The tunnels on this side are for transporting animals, personnel, and food. That's why they're so big. They are separate from the maintenance side to prevent accidents. Um... Um... Uh... Your radio show. So, Laura, I've been meaning to ask you, why don't you do your radio show anymore? You had a radio show? Well, it wasn't really radio. I'd hack into the park intercom and play choice cuts from my record collection. Lately, I haven't had the time. Did you really have to show Artie Bridges how to do it? Believe me, I regret <laughs> it. But how was I to know how bad he was? He begged me, said it was his dream to be in radio. You know what, he should stick to managing the janitorial group. He's nice. awful. <laughs> he certainly is. I guess there was a reason it was just a dream. He actually records his show ahead of time so that he can broadcast during work hours. They silently, yeah, those Did rats, they're after. Sounded like a rat. Silently mm -hmm. ate that Dinosaurs rat. aren't the only invasive species InGen brought to the island. There are lots of rats in these tunnels. Maintenance is always setting traps down here. All right, so where are you going the right way? Are you sure we shouldn't head to the visitor center, Dr. Sorkin? InGen is bound to start there when they don't hear from the rescue team. These tunnels don't run all the way to the visitor center, and I don't know about you, but I'd rather not risk any more overland travel. Good point. Exactly. So why aren't you a chef? Well, as long as we're getting to know one another. How is it that Dr. Wu became chief geneticist over you? Oh, chief. That's an easy one. Frogs. You're saying frogs kept you from getting promoted? Specifically, their DNA. Before we could clone any dinosaurs, we had to decide how to fill in the gaps in the DNA sequences we found. I remember this from the tour. You found dino blood inside mosquito fossils, right? That's right. I wanted a complete prehistoric genome, cross-referencing all of the DNA found in the various amber samples. It would have been safer, but would have taken time the board of directors didn't want to spend. Well, even Dr. Hammond's spare-no-expense philosophy has limits, I guess. Exactly. Henry, <laughs> Dr. Wu, proposed using frog DNA to fill in the gaps. It was risky. We still don't know all of the effects. But it was a solution, and a fast one at that. So Henry became chief geneticist, and I took to the field. What a Has bastard. anyone seen my cigarettes? I could swear I had some. I didn't realize you smoked. Normally I manage to duck out a few times a day, but we've been preoccupied. Where did you last have them? Right here in my pocket, or so I thought. 
Maybe they fell out when we jumped from the water tower? I suppose. Oh, oh well. Those I'm probably that... better off without them. Oh, wait. I don't remember, actually. I think, no. Someone... Oh, Jess took them. She smokes. Oh. Do you mind if we stop for a rest? My legs are killing me. I suppose we could all use a break. Yes, it will be fantastic to take a break. I don't know how much longer those embryos will last. We need to meet my contact at the boat. We're staying here until Oscar gets back. We don't even know if he's alive. Oscar's fine. He's coming back. Yes. And come hell or high water, we are not leaving. Oscar will be fine. So Oscar is the man. Uh-oh. Then again, maybe you have a point. Come on, we gotta run. No time. T-Rex is returning. Cool. Very fast quick timing events. Get out of here. Get out of here. Out of here. He made it. T-Rex made it to this side of the island. Don't move! It can't see you unless you move! Oh, great, yeah, something has to happen. A roach. Off my face, stupid. Leaving now, and we just saved the parasaur's life. <laughs> it was very quiet in that scene. Care for a lysine supplement? No, thanks. Well, you know what? Actually, you know what? Maybe I will. All this running around, my muscles probably need whatever protein I can give them. My thoughts exactly. I haven't gotten this much exercise since Carnival. Wait, is this safe I for guess humans we've to got take a lot the lysine extra samples? lysine now that the parasaurs don't need the external supply? Yeah, uh, about that. It's not just the parasaurs. We added the antidote to the main water supply. Uh, but that'll oh. reach every dinosaur in the park. The lysine contingency. What? You're insane! Denying the dinosaurs lysine was the only safety mechanism we had to keep them out of the global ecosystem! Uh, what about their ecosystem? Well, just dinosaurs can't breed. There we go. We've already denied them the right to breed. That's their death sentence. Yes, but who knows how much damage they can do before then? A single brachiosaur can destroy as much jungle in one day as a whole herd of elephants. I can imagine the impact a group of them would have on a rainforest. Yeah. The ecosystem would adjust. You're thinking in terms of human lifespans, Jerry. The biosphere is resilient enough to handle one generation of dinosaurs, even if there's a recovery period. A recovery period? Do I need to remind you that there are 120 miles of ocean between Isla Nublar and the mainland? Yes. The Lysine contingency was cruel and unnecessary. Um, what about the Pteranodons? Tell me this. Did you reverse the Lysine contingency with the Pteranodons? No. My formula targets superorder dinosauria exclusively. If I tried to account for the pteranodons, I might have affected other reptiles. Oh, at least there's that. Now that I think about it, though, targeting only pteranodons, or any one species, would be a simple change. I wouldn't even need a full lab. Am I going to have to ask yeah. Jess to follow you into the ladies' room? It won't come to that. <laughs> if I decide to do it, I won't sneak around, and I won't involve you. I'm sorry if the way I went about it last time upset you. Well, thanks for the apology, I guess, but this isn't about me. 
Ah. Uh, what about relocation? Yes, the ocean provides a natural barrier, but how can you guarantee InGen won't move some of these dinosaurs to a less isolated place? Look, I'll tell InGen all about this when we get off the island. They can make an informed decision about if and where they want to move any dinosaurs. What if they can swim? Do you know for a fact that none of these animals can swim? Oh, come on, Jerry. It's how Asian elephants migrated to Sri Lanka from India. There's precedent. You're being ridiculous. There's no evidence sauropods were swimmers. None. Uh, escape is unlikely. All right. Supposing there's a dinosaur that can swim. I find it highly unlikely that one could make it through 120 miles of open water, through ocean currents, sharks... Highly unlikely? 20 years ago, would you ever have predicted dinosaur cloning? Ever. 20 days ago, would you have predicted a complete failure of all our park security? Is what I, mean, I fear nope. that hard to imagine? No. I suppose not. Ah, uh, the morale choice is clear. You just let them all, you just let them all die. This the remote it. possibility that a dinosaur could make it to the mainland is far here. outweighed by our responsibility to treat these animals humanely. They're here because of us. Uh, isn't killing them the point? I don't want to see these animals die. I really don't. But we all agreed to the Lysine contingency. It was a prerequisite to working here. For you, maybe. But you have to remember, Jerry, I was here before there even was a Lysine contingency. Uh, it was Wu's idea, I believe. I believe it was. It, it was, it's my life's work. This may be just a job for you, Jerry, but these animals are my life. I can't just watch them die. No matter the circumstance, you can't possibly believe it's okay to eradicate an entire species let alone whole groups of them, regardless of how they came to be here. No one has that right. Ah, uh, we could start over. Even if every dinosaur on the island were to die, Site B is still active. We could clone them again. What you did was reckless. I'm sorry, Jerry, but that's naive. Do you have any idea how expensive it is to clone even one dinosaur? The board won't let Hammond throw money at a pipe dream. Uh, we're responsible. Well, normally, I'd agree with you. No one has the right to kill an entire species. But surely you recognize that this is a special case. We are responsible. No point in discussing this. Care for them, not kill them. Yes, we are responsible. We're not just for our own welfare, but for little, the animals as well. Long. I don't know, Laura. I, I, I don't know. I need to process this. I, I'm gonna have to tell InGen. I understand. Are you guys done yet? Jess, where'd you go? Just down the hall looking at stuff. Not that you noticed, I was what? gone. I'm or sorry, honey, I was distracted, but don't go off again like that, okay? Yeah, okay. Wow, she's turning into a little bitch. <laughs> Back at this scene now. Oh good, here it comes, go! Uh oh. Damage! Fuck. Crap, I pressed the wrong fucking button Damage! again. Ah! Sounds like... Good gaming! Gotta change it up. Gates. Oh yeah, these Shoot gates. Him. I don't think it'd be if she can get through here. Damage! Oh fuck, there's a raptor in there. I forgot about the raptor in there, but she didn't see it coming. Come on. Nice. Wow, that dinosaur. Rex went through it. Low enough. Trying to stay.
stealth one get away. These things ever stop eating? about as coordinated as a three-legged mule i'm coordinated enough to kick you off oh whoa, whoa, easy i take it back <laughs> damn you're lucky you ought to forget our deal and buy a lottery ticket the embryos yeah yeah relax i uh i uh, uh yeah you lost it it must have fallen out well that kind of that sucks all right now we're back with oscar That's right. Go. Yeah, locked Not door. Good. If I can't open it, they can't either. Do 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 do. Last thing I need is for those things to see me better. Oh yeah, turn the lights out, they can see you better. Now there's the place to hide. In the boxes. <laughs> I do like the color, yeah, the color pattern on the raptors. Here they come. Yeah, I think only two went in here. The third one got killed by the Rex outside. Idiota! Do you know what you've done? Hey! In case you didn't notice, it wasn't exactly a leisurely stroll over here. You dropped it. You find it! Hold your horses. That T-Rex is still out there. Apparently the Rex is cool. Damn, he just you're just killing prayer swords all over the place. Go back there and get it. Okay, so we know where it is. Go get it! Yeah, I think I'll wait until our friend there leaves to find a new chew toy. I don't know if we have time. If the embryos go bad, they're worthless. The embryos are worthless to me if I get eaten by a damn lizard. Uh, fine, I'll get it myself. You're not man enough to get the embryos back. I'll do it myself. Hang on. The deal is, I hold on to the embryos until we reach your contact. I know! And instead, you drop them! Yeah, well, crap. I'm gonna use logic. Just go! <laughs> and hurry! Well, here we go. Back outside. Oops. Shit. Come on, man. Don't screw up again. Motherfucker. A nice girl like you to a place like this. 
<laughs> Got it! Sweet talking to Rex. Open the door, open the door! I went down to Somebody bronze. Somebody tell Carl Lewis I got some training tips for him. Went down to okay, bronze, great. though. It sucks. Nice moves out there. Don't hey. drop the babies. Thanks. Almost makes up for dropping it in the first place. I hate being the guy that ends up marrying that woman. We're back at this place. Going around this raptor. So far, this raptor has no idea that Oscar is in here. I think he has some hints that Oscar is, but oh, they're gonna right, run right into the raptor. The raptor was just in that area. Where did it go? Probably a rat or something. Keep moving. No, I saw eyes just like that before I was beaten. I won't go through that again. Big, shiny eyes? You saw them too. Not here, but yeah. Go on. Get out of here. Come on, we gotta keep moving. No way! Not until I can see where I'm going. Ugh. Okay, we can't go back outside because of our old friend Rexy, but maybe we can get the lights on. It seems like those things, whatever they are, like to stick to the shadows. We're in luck. This looks like a power panel right here. We're trying to solve one problem, and we're gonna make a whole new problem. Kill a raptor? With a knife? What's the holdup? It's knife? nothing. It's just a different uh, model than I'm used to, is all. So you're stuck? Yes. Essentially. Push to close, push to open. Alright. I know push to close turns it on. To operate it, you gotta push to open. Let's check out what it Why says. Why don't you just read the instructions? They're right there, no? Relax. This thing is just a glorified fuse box. Push to Dose. close. Close what? Well, that was my best guess. Use that should turn on power. It didn't. In, yeah, the movie. What about that made, thing there? It was pushed Maybe to you close, have to prime it before turning it on, turn like on an the... oil pump or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, no I offense. That. But this type of electrical system is probably way ahead of anything you've seen before. I got this. Um, watching, watch the master work. You understand, you understand electricity. You know anything at all about electrical systems? Nada. This can't be much harder than disarming a burglar alarm. Why do you know about disarming burglar alarms? Did I say disarming? I meant installing. I had a job doing that once. Yeah, I did. I'm gonna push to close. All right, I got it now. Oh. Close your eyes. Push to open. You're about to lose your minds. Night vision. Night vision. <laughs> What's going on? Dad? Over here, Jess. It's all right. The backup generator wasn't meant to last this long, that's all. No, that's not it. We should have been fine for days. How the hell was I supposed to know open meant turn everything off? I mean, it's counterintuitive. You would know if you read the instructions. Why don't you yell a little louder? I think there's a dinosaur on the other side of the island that didn't hear you. Jeez. <laughs> Whatever. 
There's a close, right? Let's push it. There's a close, right? Yeah, I'll close that crap right up. Yeah, that's right. Who's your... Oh, and oh, come on. No. We broke it. There you go, breaking things. Rocket Jurassic Park's only unofficial radio station. Just a reminder before we sign off, Parklings, if you're not on the boat by seven, then you're not going to be on the boat at all. I've got a little something special for all you last minute packers out there, a personal favorite of mine, and I'll see you all on board. Damn it, Artie. He's not still here, is he? No. From the sound of it, he queued up this last bit of tape and took off. So here's a little something to get you ready to set sail. I can dig this. Damn it! I just died. Motherfucker. One wrong move. I hate this. I lost my freaking goal. Where you think you're going? Motherfucker, and look, I just lost bronze. This show is over. I thought only Laura, two went inside you here. You are my new favorite person. <laughs> You've forgiven me for fixing the lysine problem? Don't push it. Holy crap, Oscar. Did you just take one of those things out by hand? I see Sleeping Beauty woke up. Did you have to kiss her? I woke up just fine on my own, thanks. Right? You were in that tree the whole time. Of course I was. Hey, listen. When I kiss you, you'll remember it. That's never <laughs> gonna happen. Oh, don't be like that. Just like you, uh, Billy. Whenever I kiss you, you'll remember it. You're supposed to be at the crash site. Yeah, uh, the plan didn't factor in an angry T-Rex, so we had to change it. I didn't think to engage it in a knife fight, sorry. We had to change the plan. That's right. I unlocked the mystery behind the shaving cream can. Turns out, little Miss Sunshine here is smuggling dino embryos off the island. What? I don't buy it. You don't have the skills to pull off a heist like that. She knows her business, Oscar. You said the same thing about that waitress in Bogota's cooking. That wasn't her fault. Seminole. They're real. My client had someone on the inside, a man named Nedry. He didn't show, so they sent me to find the embryos. I'm the backup plan. Well? Squares with what I know. They're searching San Jose for this Nedry guy. Thought he was on the last boat. They can stop the search. He's dino food. Let me guess. You have a plan. Yeah, well, turns out these yep. things are worth a lot of money to the right people. I mean, a lot. Yep, great. 
You're pretty self-righteous for a thief. I wouldn't be a thief if you hadn't stolen this island from my people in the first place. I didn't steal anything. The Costa Rican government rented this place to InGen. And you did their dirty work, didn't you? I did my job. Just like I'm doing now. Really? And how many people are you going to kill today? Shut the hell up, or I'll start counting with you. Whoa, whoa, no fighting. Save it for the dinos, huh? You're going along with her. Hey, I'm not doing anything unless you're down. But come on, Oscar. Do you really think InGen gives a rat's ass about us? Look what happened to B-Team, to Decaf. Their families are going to get a puny check, a gag order, and nothing else. Won't leave them. Do I got to remind you we're working against the clock? There's no time to save these people and be her errand boys before this place turns to ground zero. What do you mean, ground zero? Nothing. We could do it, Oscar. We've got a call for another helicopter anyway, so one of us takes the eggheads back to the mainland and the other takes her to meet her contact. Let me guess. That last part would be up to you. You just tell Injian that I bought it like the rest of the guys they sent. Then you and I hook up later to split our cut. I trust you, but I don't trust her. Nope. Uh, I'm in. Okay, Betty, count me in. Just keep her the hell away from me. He's not keeping me Let's anyway. Get all three of them in. But I don't want to be any closer to you than I have to. Now, now, play nice, you two. All right, Tisk, let's tisk, move tisk. out. Take it slow and quiet. Does a certain girl need her bomb smacked? <laughs> let's not start this again. I respect your opinion, Jerry. Although, to be honest, I'm a little surprised at your lack of regard for the animals. It's not that I don't care about them, Laura. It's just that there are so many unintended consequences that come with your decision. She got to smoke. We can't keep this a secret, Laura. Shoot. We need contingency plans. We'll need to monitor things outside of the park. You shouldn't be smoking anyway. Where is it? I know it. Yes. Uh. Can't yeah, throw a pack of cigarettes in the dinosaur's mouth. Dad, run! What's wrong? What happened? Raptor in the maintenance tunnel. Why am I so bad at this? be a lot of editing What's through wrong? this video. Safe to say that I suck at quick timing oh, events. Get away if you can! Go! I can't keep this up alone! Gee. Oh, please, please, please. I turn it the way it was supposed to go. Reverse. Oh, shit. This way. Come on, stay with me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That was random, I know. You sure you want to take care of business? Oh, yeah. Your last friend wasn't so lucky. I'll call that one Scar. That's a, that's a raptor's new name, Scar. What the? Amazing. I've never seen them afraid before. That was awesome. No problem. Petting her head with okay, a bloody I'll hand. Let the man breathe. <laughs> Yoder! You're alive! We're alive? I'm surprised you guys lasted five minutes without me and Oscar. Thank you. Forget it. Is that blood? Oh my god, you're bleeding! 
Are you okay? No worries. Belongs to one of them. You killed one? You killed one of them? With a knife? That's so badass. Well, hey, oh, yeah. I outran a T-Rex. It's nothing. Just another fight. Um... Raptor tattoo? Are you gonna get a tattoo of a raptor now? I totally would. Hmm. Not a bad idea. You aren't fooling me. What now? You can pretend to be a hero all you want, but we both know what you really are. You're right. We do. Everyone, we have a problem. Yeah, big one. Uh, it's just steam, Laura. It's just steam, Laura. Yeah. I don't think steam can, you know, eat us or anything. You've seen the flickering lights, now the steam eruptions. Something's gone wrong with the island's geothermal power plant. That's not our problem. When the power plant explodes, it will be. It's that bad. Everything I've read about the system says it's supposed to shut itself down if something goes wrong with the steam pressure. The fact that it hasn't means that the pressure will build unchecked. Uh -oh. It'll pop like a balloon and take half the island with it. Uh-oh. Uh, how do we get there? Did we get to the power plant from here? I'm completely turned around. Yes, I've been here before. It's down this way. We really ought to get moving. Uh, how do we fix it? How can we stop the power plant from exploding? We have to do something, and quickly, but I won't know exactly what until we get there. No time. Say goodbye to your dinosaurs, Doc. You can dig up the fossils later. When the power plant explodes, it'll take us with it. Unless you have a spare helicopter ready to lift off. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. I know, right? Listen up. You're gonna show me the corridor that goes to the power plant. I'm gonna scout ahead and make sure there's no dinosaur party happening when we get there. Can I come? I know I can help. You're staying right here where I can keep an eye on you. Hey, I saved you, remember? Besides, those things are afraid of him. You wandered off, Jess. Oscar doesn't mind, do you? Oscar? Oscar's already going hm. to do his job. Ah. I ran a T-Rex, too. ran a T-Rex, huh, Yoda? I sure did. You know, not everyone has the training to pull something like that off, let alone the raw speed. I know, right? That's what I thought when I outran her yesterday. Oh. When I saw the helicopter crash into the jungle, I thought you guys were goners. We're fine. Hey, uh, about before, the hostage thing? I'm sorry. I was only trying to protect myself. Me and the mercs, we worked it out. Worked it out? How? Don't worry about it. We're okay. For, For now. now. <laughs> so you're friends? That's great. So everyone's friends now, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't put it like that. Then how would you... <gasps> no, no way. Did you guys make out? <laughs> We've decided that we can all work together. Let's put it that way. Hey, Oscar's back. What'd you find, buddy? Yeah, Oscar, what'd you find? Always clear, but the door to the plant is locked. Don't that just figure? Either of you got a key? I'm afraid not. How about a smoke? I wish. I swore I had some on me, but... Jess? Something to share? I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I, I just wanted to borrow them, but, but then the dinosaur was there, and I threw them, and I think it Jane. ate them. Jessica Marie Harding! First, you get caught stealing a t-shirt from the mall. Then you steal binoculars from the park and lie about it to my face. Now you've taken Laura's cigarettes? You let the raptors get to us because you wanted to smoke? Oh, wow. I wanted to calm down. Dinosaurs here. Hey, mom smokes. You did too when I was younger. That's not the point. It's not just the smoking, it's it's stealing. It's not listening. Rem Remember, the main reason you're on this island is because your mother thinks I might be able to straighten you out. Somehow. Right. Not because you want to see me or anything. Look, you don't have to worry about me, Dad. I'm almost 15. I can take care of myself. I don't need you or mom or that anyone. That is what you think. Oh, honey, I know it feels like that, especially at your age, but you're not an adult. You might be a young woman, uh, uh, physically, but emotional maturity uh, takes time. Okay, 
I'm sorry, Dad, but how many times have you been married? Your kids? Have you even talked lecturing anyone about emotional maturity? Damn. Uh, yep. Uh, plant's gonna blow, right? We ain't got time for this after-school special crap. There we go. Okay. I guess my recording hit its limit, and now I had to re-record that, so... I do apologize for the, uh... Lack. Okay. Um... Ooh. There we go. Ben, it may lead to the other side of the door. Hate to break it to you, Doc, but ain't none of us fitting through there. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe a uh, certain somebody. Um, We're here. off the island. You aren't even listening to me. So you're smoking now. What else are you doing I don't know about? What, Mom didn't tell you I was stripping? That's enough, Jess. It's only until my boyfriend's death metal band takes off, then we're getting married. Jerry, Mom's already signed the emancipation wow. papers. I'm not laughing. Someone who claims he's ready to be treated uh, like an guys, adult probably please. shouldn't be such a little I snob. Really need also, to speak I can... Enough! When we get you home, I'm enough. gonna be- Enough! All right, enough! I apologize, I'm sorry. Jess, we will finish this later. How can I help? We have a situation. The only way around the door to the power plant is that vent. And Jess is the only one of us who might fit inside. Absolutely not. My daughter has clearly shown that she can't be trusted with her own safety. She doesn't leave my sight from now on. We're just gonna have to find another solution. Oh, great. Jess? Jesse? Jess? It's okay. Pretty sure the dinosaurs haven't been using that vent. What vent? What? What dinosaurs? Oh my god. Jess. Just unlocking a door. Nothing well done, big. Jess. Thanks. And they mentioned him, yeah, it's pretty awesome. They mentioned okay. Sarah Hardy. Listen up. We need to release the steam the pressure to, to the prevent island. any more yeah, build up. Like what are we looking for? A power console. And probably a master release valve. Look, Dad, I'm sorry. I was just trying to. You were just trying to ignore everything I said. Now just stay where I can see you this time. Okay, I will. I mean it. Sorry. Okay, um, we go up the ladder. Let's check out the, the yeah, geothermal. See that large valve wheel up there? I think that's the pressure release we're looking for. I'll handle it. So I should, should just went up the ladder anyways. Wait until I turn the power off to release the pressure. Otherwise, the system won't properly reset. Got it. Boom, boom. All right. Look at all those transformers. The plant produces enough power to run a small city. Oh, uh, it kind of has to. To run... Um... That looks like the power console. There it is. Up there, at the top of the ladder. It takes a small city to generate en enough power for these, you know, fences. Because of what the dinosaurs... Because of the dinosaurs. Alright. We, we can't primer. pump the capacitor until the steam is vented. Too risky. Um... Yeah, they're gonna have to update that sign. 18 days. Don't release the pressure yet. Ah. Wait until I get the power off. Understood. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. Push to close. All right. Looks like we press to open the circuit in order to turn the power off. I'll push to open. Here goes nothing. Press to open. That does make sense. It does now. It does now. Awesome. All right, now that it's off... Jerry can go ahead and do this. Another problem. No good. I'm gonna need some help. Okay, I want to get out of this. There we go. 
Oscar? Would you guys give me a hand with this valve? It won't budge. Sure. We open pickle jars, too. <laughs> All right, hold, turn. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Stop! Stop! We got this! Oh, I mean stop! It shouldn't take that much force to turn the valve. There must be some kind of motorized assist for it. If you force it, you could break something. I'll have a look. If there is a motor, you'll need to disconnect it before it'll turn manually. It's always gotta be something. Looks just like a smokestack. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I'm glad that lava flow is so far below us. Any closer and the heat would be unbearable. S what, they put this place in a freaking volcano? Um. <laughs> See that large valve wheel up there? I think that's the pressure release we're looking for. I'll handle it. Sweet. Oh, wait. I was there. Game just glitched. Did that break the game? Uh, let's if we force it, we'll just break it even more. Let's just wait until we can get it to turn freely. I'm looking around and I don't see shot. That compartment there. That could house the motor we're looking for. I'll check it out. Yes, Nima. Oh, rats. Roger being scared, Lotus so... Ride. Burnt out. Hold. Hold. Why? <gasps> Something's holding it in place! Um... Let's try this. Okay, I found what's holding the motor in. Great, but we don't have any tools. Don't need any. It's just a latch. That's handy. I guess the need to yank that thing out in a hurry was anticipated. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure if it was, though. Nah, it's <sighs> so much easier. I got it! Perfect. Let's try it again. Drink that baby. That's it. The steam has been vented. All we need now is to turn the power back on. You're seeing the control box. Why have to wait till I do it? You uh need any help? I'm quite capable, thank you. Whoa, wrong button. One. I should take four if I'm correct. Two. Three. Four. Yes. Is that the... It's the press to close light. It means the charge is pumped. Right. All, all charge pumps at Jurassic Park take four... Yeah, four pumps to charge. I'm going to close the circuit and turn the power back on. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. I think you'll find we have nothing to worry about. Laura? Nothing to worry about, huh? It's all right, everyone. It's just a fail-safe measure to protect the plant. We probably set it off when we disconnected the motor or something else. Everything is just fine. Um, everything is say not so. fine. And we're in here with the raptors, all three of the raptors. Raptors! Run for the ladder, Nemo, before they can cut you off. 
Oh shit. I can do one thing wrong, I am going to die. The door controls, they're completely fried. Thank you. These doors be open manually? I'm afraid not. The only way we can get them open is by using the controls by the doors where we came in. I'm on it. No, no way, that's suicide. He's right. The raptors wouldn't have come back if they were still afraid of you. I'll just have to give them a new reason to be scared then. Can we at least talk about this? Come on, Oscar, let's talk. It's the only way, Billy. You know damn well I'm the only one's got a chance to get to that control panel. Maybe, but who says you have to go alone? I do. Look, Billy, we gotta get these people out of here. I figure they got no chance with both of us gone. Crap. Okay, I want everyone to hang tight while I figure this out. You're going to be fine. What's the plan? Working on it. I'll let you know. Okay. Let's go over here real quick. Let's see what we're, what we're working with. I could get down that way. I've made jumps that wide before. All right, I want you to tempt those raptors by creeping down the ladder. Oh, okay. Before, <laughs> I thought you were nuts, but that sounds like a great plan. You got something better? You can always throw the doctor lady down there. That would distract them. Don't go. You could die. Well, we all got me sense. Don't count me out yet. All right, let's do this, puppy. Give me a diversion, will ya? Couple of seconds at least. Got it. Just be careful, they're astonishing jumpers. Hey, thanks. Whoops. Not a great start. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, pull myself up. Oh, I hope he makes it back. Try not to worry. Simply, I noticed us. I thought you hated him. But I respect his ability. If anyone can do this, he can. Actually, yeah. that's it. Just keep focused on Billy. Don't give him facts. Just let Billy go. Got to look for Oscar. He knows something though. Well. Got to make a run for it. No choice. Oh crap! You want some of what your money had? Behind you! Yeah. I don't know why they did that. Got to make a run for it. No choice. You want some of what your money had? I Dude, I did it. Why do you say I didn't do it? Gotta make a run for it. No choice. You want some of what your buddy had? Behind you!
Was their fear response something about this place scares them but even if they weren't scared you look ready to hold them off thanks i'm glad i didn't have to are you okay billy what the hell do you think what oscar did was very brave when we get back we're gonna make sure he is duly recognized for his you think i care about that crap Let's just give him some space. Five minutes! Just, just give me five minutes and I'll be fine. I know what you people think of us. Bunch of blue-collar grunts, right? Bunch of high school dropouts. We're replaceable. We don't think that. We don't. Tell him. Oscar was worth a thousand of you, but he knew it. And he still died to save your ass. So don't tell me how you're gonna honor him. You don't deserve okay, to. Okay, okay. What can we do? Nothing. I said I'll be fine, remember? All I need is space. Too much space. I know we've got a lot on our minds, but whatever spooked those raptors might be nearby. Laura's right. I need everyone to be alert while she and I search the room. What is that? Hey, it smells like the jungle. Only more rotten. Jess, you don't want to see this. Nima, could you? Yeah. Come with me, Jess. Try not to look, okay? A dead guy with a nest in his body. Oh my god, he's alive! Really? His pulse is faint, but it's there. Look for bite marks. Bite marks? Yes, yes, they look just like... Just like the ones Nima had, I know. He's alive, but only technically. He's paralyzed and almost certainly brain dead. This is the Venom's final stage. Just perfect. We find our person is still alive, but he's more Whoa. alive than likely Eggs. dead. It is a nest. I thought the structure looked like the nest of a cassowary, maybe an emu, but without eggs, I couldn't be sure. Yes, but, but they're inside him. If you'd asked me five minutes ago, I'd have told you such behavior didn't exist outside of class and secta, but now... Oh, he's a human being. I I'm sorry, you're absolutely right. Uh... This guy's dressed a lot like you, Billy. Does he have a tattoo on his arm? Like mine? Yep. Yes, yes, he does. What the hell's going on over there? Is he alive or not? He's alive, but in a comatose state. Something is 
laid eggs in his abdomen. Something what? Something what? The victim was being kept alive by Decaf. A... Uh, I'm sorry. Decaf. The victim is Daniel Kafaro. Another throwaway grunt. Oh my God. I knew they'd gotten out somehow, but I never thought. You knew about this? You knew? I'll kill you. And that is the end of episode three, The Depths. Now that was an intense one. Ugh. I gotta get used to these controls a lot more. It kind of, it kind of sucks. Playing on a uh, PlayStation controller with Xbox controls. This is remapped. And this is episode four, the survivors we're gonna get into next, the Mosasaur, which the dress park, the yeah you know, dress park, the games design for, of the Mosasaur is way different than the actual Mosasaur design. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it around your family and friends, and hit that subscribe button. Become a survivor today, and stay tuned for more of this. This is an awesome series. I am loving this. And I'll see you survivors back for episode 4, The Survivors.